Hey man, say man, we're going on another episode with Life of Tank. So today we in the gym, about to start doing more fitness content because a lot of people want to see what I do to how I get to where I'm at when I'm getting ready for a show. Right now I'm in maintenance, so I want to shoot for July, but I'm just trying to get back acclimated because after the national show in December, man, I was just eating. So I'm just trying to get back in shape. But with that being said, I'm doing growth and development, working on my legs today. So stay tuned and going down. You DJ Tank. All right, so check this out. Sled with lunges. You did? Let's do it. So check this out. So the first two warm-up set is with body. Body weight only. And then you're gonna grab you some weight that's basically that you can do. Me, I did 30 pound kettlebells because I want to make sure I still do the work, but also feel that stretch at the same time. <sighs> oh. The next workout that we got, we got leg extensions. So first thing I wanna do is make sure I get the blood pumping in my leg. So I'm gonna do two sets of 20 with moderate weight. Um, I like to start off at 100 pounds and go up. So one thing in my category, men's physique, they want our quads to be bigger this year. So that's the main thing. My legs are a decent size, but at the same time, I want them to be bigger. You know what I'm saying? When I get ready for show. So let's do it. We be All right, so now after I did my two sets of 20, I got the blood uh, pumping. The lactic acid is killing me right now. But now I got four working sets. So I'm gonna do four sets of 10 and I'm gonna go weight each set. All right, so the objective when you lift, do everything slow. A lot of people tend to like rep super fast yeah that might help but right now we're doing muscle development so you want to be slow and steady so as you can see when i'm doing my leg extensions i always hold for a second or two so i can make sure the blood is pumping throughout the whole quad you get what i'm saying so 
it's a major difference when you hold. It's just like when you lift weights, you got to make love to the weight. Nobody want to quit pumping, you did. You got to slow and steady. That's just muscle development in itself. So as I do this set right here, you can see that I'm going to pause for a second or two just to make sure that the blood is literally going through the legs and up. That ain't nothing but lactic acid. You get what I'm saying? All right, so right here, we got hat squats. I'm gonna do two warm up sets. I'm gonna do two sets of 10. Then I'm gonna go up with the weight. I'm, not, I'm trying not to go through the motions because my body like responding, but shit got to be done. Yeah, what it is. When you get when you on that stage, it's a whole different world. So I'd rather be overly prepared than not prepared at all. Got leg curls. We're gonna do two working sets of 12. Then we're gonna do four working sets of 10. So right here, leg curls. It's working the back of your hamstrings. You get what I'm saying? So ladies, for those who are trying to grow their glutes, y'all wanna make sure that y'all do leg curls. Definitely so you know what I'm saying? You have that hamstring development that's gonna lift your glutes up. You get what I'm saying? So I'm gonna tell y'all a secret though. I haven't trained legs in a year. Thank God for good genetics. But I really think since I'm training my legs twice a week now, my legs is gonna be two times bigger than normal. So a lot of people in bodybuilding, majority of this shit is uh, genetics. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you still gotta build the body that you want. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be like, I don't want to be a bodybuilder. I don't want to look like this. I don't want to look like that. But at the same time, when you look at a bodybuilder, that's the damn near the physique that you want. So it's like, you don't have to compete, but at least try to build your body in the way that you want it to look. Can't even get out here, motherfucker. Trying to lock me in a ride now. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Bodybuilding, in a sense, it's, it's becoming to be fun. And the reason why I say that is because just seeing how your body changes and each show is like my body changes each time. So it's like, it started to get more exciting. So it makes me want to go hard, but it, it shit come with discipline. You know what I'm saying? And it took me a while to get it. So I don't want people to be discouraged. You know what I'm saying? Cause we have our times where we consistent for two weeks and then we eat that one meal and it make us go back. You know what I'm saying? To, to normal, but once you lock in, cause it take it took me a long time to lock in, but I just like the way I look. You know what I'm saying? Be able to take your shirt off and just be yourself. So, yeah, man. I'm gonna do 
I'm gonna do two more exercises and that's it. Forgot. Let me see. All right, so next exercise we got is the Smith Machine Barbell Squat. So what the Smith Machine is, for those who, in a sense, are beginners, you can utilize this uh, automatic spotter. But for those who are advanced, Smith Machine has a lot of resistance. You know what I'm saying? So whatever weight that you got on it, depth, and also, of course, lift heavier, in a sense. So first thing I got... I got um, one working set just to warm up. I'm gonna do a set of 10, and then I'm gonna go up uh, two more extra sets. And then, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna rock out. Said, a lot of people like the ego lift try to put so much on the weight on the bar but can't lift that shit you know what i'm saying so don't ego lift just lift do what you can do but you always want to grow you ain't even sweating you're not even sweating <laughs> So when I did my national show in December, I came in 14th place. The judges basically told me my physique was good. Only told me that I need to work on my chest development and my abs. So these are a couple ab workouts that I do that's gonna help me get a full development on my abs. Let's do it. This is a good angle right here. So right here, I got three sets of 20 on leg raises. So leg raises is a basically a full development of um, your abs as well, but also helps the lower the lower abs as well. So I feel with my physique, I lack my uh, lower abs. So that's something that I'm gonna be working on all the time just so I can have that develop. <clears throat> Got lock back in, man. When you when you about to get ready for prep, you gotta remove all them distracts. Basically, anything that's gonna distract you from your goals, shit like that. So once I lock in, it ain't really no fun for real for me. It ain't no dating. It ain't really partying, none of that. Unless I'm getting paid. If I ain't getting paid to do it, I ain't going out. Cause it's a lot of people out there be trying to get you off your goals, but if you don't have that. Total discipline, it's gonna be hard, real hard. So people say I'm weird because I don't go out and enjoy myself. But like I said, it's bigger than me. As long as I'm influencing somebody to want to get in the gym and want to have um, you know, a healthier lifestyle, then I did my job and that's all that matters to me.
right, so right here I got rope crunches. So right here we added resistance on it so I can make sure that I'm getting full range of motion when I'm doing the app. So what I want to try to do is, since I got three sets of 20, back it. My ass so tired and goddamn forgot. All right, y'all, that concludes a lead day with Life with Tank. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe. If you got any questions, put it in the comments. You can follow me on Instagram at DJTANQ. That's on all social media platforms, you know what I'm saying? So lock in, keep scribing, keep grinding, and don't let nobody deter you from what you got going on. You dig?